All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hermit Pack episode from the Hermitcraft server. Hope everybody are doing fantastic. I am doing great. It's very early morning, though. Uh, this morning, hold on, let's do, uh, where's my swapping thing here? This morning, my, um, um, I, I went and picked up my mother's dog from my mother. Well, I met her at the train station. She was coming into town and she needed to uh, have someone who looks after her dogs. And now, I have three freaking dogs in my home at the moment. <laughs> and they're all laying around me. I, freak I, I feel like a freaking dog lady. Well, cat lady. No, you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, I'm doing I'm doing really good. It's, it's, it's very early though. Uh, so I may have a little bit of a morning voice. I'm not sure. Um, but today... It's the day I got some plans today. I'm so excited. Today is the day of order and organization. I have completely changed this room uh, or the design and the idea that I had of this room. And that's going to help us tremendously. Is that the right word? Tremend tre tremendously? I think so. Um, and I also got a special plan for later today. Hopefully we get to it. Uh, but we need to do some building here first. So check this out. We're going to have... Um, an, in, an, an entrance here, like we had it. I'm going to turn this into a power room. And then uh, I want walkways up here. Not really sure how to get down and, or up and down here quite yet. But that's not very important. I need um, to do this. I've uh, <clears throat> been using this building wand quite a bit. Uh, from the Super 1, <laughs> Super one mod of Doom. Um, by the way... Thank you guys so much again for uh, for for the liking and the support and the love and the comments uh, means a lot, guys. I noticed that the tome of uh, the reliquary thing, a lot of people had the same issue. There was a Reddit thread about it, um, and hopefully uh, it will get fixed in the next pack update. I don't know if anyone's identified yet which mods are not working together, but it's basically two mods that aren't aren't working together. So, a little bit of a disappointment, but whatever, whatever, we got this. Um, but yeah, the idea is we'll have a walkway up there, we'll have a big room here, which would probably serve as like the the, the main uh, center point. I don't know how much machines and stuff I'll have here, but it'll probably be my workshop. Uh, and then, I'm gonna have, so the power room is up there, so my plan is... Let's just see, the wall is here. I know this This looks freaking disgusting at the moment. But don't you worry, you pretty little cells. We're gonna fix it, okay? I am on a mission. Um, so right here, we're gonna have a doorway. I don't know if I wanna use this basalt. I may take this opportunity to change the style down here. Uh, get rid of the basalt. And the basalt could be like our outside block. Because I really like it against the sand. But it's a little bit too stony for a... For a factory build. Uh, anyway, we come in here. <laughs> this freaking thing is off-centered. <laughs> oh, so bad. Okay. Uh, we come in here. And then... I want to have like a power display. So maybe... Yeah, just for now. Maybe we'll have something like this. And a window or something into the, to the power room. Where we can check how much power we have. Uh, we'll have a main wire running into this room, and that will be this here. I found out that if you want to upgrade these NRIO conduits, you can just right-click, and you'll actually get the, uh, the the old ones back. So check that out. 16. Very cool. Um, and this main wire will run all the way here. I am planning to use the universal cables uh, from, um, from Mechanism, just because they look much, much cooler. I need to break through here. And, yeah, run this cable all, all across here. Um, the universal cable, check these out. Actually, let's go to our system if I still have power. I disconnected this freaking thing a little while ago. I have a buffer, though. Yeah, we still have a little bit of power. Check these out. These are just the basic ones. They're very expensive without proper infrastructure to make the upgraded ones in comparison to Android IO. But they look so good. I love them. And these can transfer power. I don't know what else they can transfer. Oh yeah, they can try. They can transfer all different types of power, which is really good. Um, that way we can use industrial craft and stuff. Um, and we'll have a main wire that runs here. And I'm planning to like design it so that we can see the wire, the wire. Um, so that will connect all the way over there. Anyway, uh, and then what I'm planning, and that's actually 
gonna be a little bit impossible here, I guess. But I, I wanna have... Whew, hi. I wanna have an elevator right here. So this will kind of be our elevator shack. Maybe we'll have an elevator block here. I'll rewire the cable just here uh, to make that work. Unfortunately, there are no good elevators in this pack, like the old elevators from Open Blocks, uh, which I really liked. There is this thing from RF Tools, which is very cheap to make. So I may look into how these work. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully they ain't too bad. Uh, I always run out of freaking redstone torch eye. Um, but you need that, I think you need this thing as well. But as you can see, like, it's, <laughs> it's no problem for us. We so rich. We so rich, boy! Alright, guys. We just have to, before I build more, we just have to try out this elevator. I did some research and this may be, I'm saying maybe... The coolest thing I've ever seen. Let's see if we can figure this out though, because uh, there wasn't a whole lot of information. Um, two elevators block. I want to go from here to up here. Uh, nope, no, 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 crap. To here. Uh, and I researched and saw that you need to make a 3 by 3 shaft, like a proper elevator. And this, this may be my dream coming through. For those of you who watched... Um, or who saw, let's put the elevator, oops, let's put the elevator block down there. For those of you who saw Survival Stories uh, Season 2, I tinkered, tinkered with with trying to make an elevator for the longest time. But it just didn't work. Um, I just couldn't get it to where I wanted it to be. Okay, I don't know if that's correct. We can't interact with this at all. I can't like right click on it. I, hmm. Hold on, let's put it like that. Okay. This is going to be a little bit of a... Uh, okay. <laughs> Testing out the wrench. This is going to be a little bit of a, a trial and error thing, I suppose. But let's uh, let's try and make this work. So, it needs power. That's the first thing. So, hooking it up to power. Then we need something called a screen controller and a screen. The screen will be um, our our thing. Our thing? It will be what uh, where we... Um, uh, control the elevator. You got a moment for a quick call. Yeah. Uh, yes. Can you can you give me five minutes? I think Etho is preparing a present for us. It's very exciting. Um, okay. So let's try this. This is not going to take five minutes. I'm 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 not that quick. Okay. So that's cool. We have a screen there. I want to move that forward. If if this works, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry in advance, but I am so overexcited. Let's let's just keep it there. We can make this screen bigger by right-clicking. And this used to be very buggy. Okay, I need to... Wow. <laughs> now it's a huge freaking screen. Let's place... No, that's the wrong one. Uh, <laughs> or did it... Oh, there we go. Yeah, huge freaking screen. Okay, then we take our button modules. And I'm going to right-click all of these onto the elevator. That should bind it to that, and then right-click in here. Module is cleared. No. Crap. Okay, right-click on the elevator. Can I right... Ha, s scan? Okay. How do I enter this this screen? There's, there's supposed to be like a... Hmm. There's supposed to be an interface. Oh, there we go. Okay, I needed to right-click the right... The, the, the top left. Put you in there. Okay. Who? this is... Okay. A vertical... Okay, that gives it a little bit of a thing. Um, level 1, level 0. Oh, cool. Okay, level 0 name, base. Yeah, baby, okay. Actually, is level 0 the top level? Test. Uh, there's only one level. Uh, okay, so let's, um, let's get back up there. And we're going to place the second elevator. Whew, perfect. Uh, we're going to place the second elevator. Now, this guy, I don't know if it needs to be directly above the other one. Did it say? Uh, before screens can be... No, that's the wrong thing. This machine needs to be placed at a certain level pointing towards where the moving platform will be. Only the lowest elevator. Okay. I'm just going to place you there, you know? Uh, hopefully, um, that's correct. Then we need another screen here, which I, which I was hoping to have maybe on the side. Yeah, let's try the side. We have some power here as well, which is fantastic. So screen controller goes down. And then temporarily, actually, we have a block there. Let's place you and make you a large, like so. And then we need the button module. And I believe I can right-click like that. 
Install module, yes. Okay, okay. Um, vertical, level zero, name, basement, level zero, uh, high. No, test was what we named it. Uh, large buttons, okay. And then we need to scan it, right? We need to go here, scan. Yes, okay, 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 we're doing it, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing it. Down here, yeah, now it says test. So if I click test, oh, I, hmm, can I? Oh my goodness, something worked, something worked. Oh, we missed it. Okay, hold on, hold on, I think I know what I did wrong. Oh, stupid thing, <laughs> teleporting me through, through, through things. Okay, test, let's click. Um, how did I do it? <gasps> oh, wow! <laughs> okay, okay, test. Yeah, baby, check that out! <laughs> so we don't actually need it to be three by three, and we can maybe... Ah, oh, crap. Let's try and change this elevator. Let's put it on the side. Basically, hold on. <laughs> It's kind of too overexcited, crazy fools, but this is the best thing I've ever seen uh, for an elevator. Elevator mods are rare. Uh, oh, oh, no, did you? No, 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 no. Okay, let's pick you out. Right click you. There we go. There we go. Okay, now. Um, hmm. Do I need to redo it down here as well? No, they are not connected anymore. Crap. Okay. So you know what? I'm just gonna put, take, pick it, pick you up, and put you over here, and then I think the the blocks needs to be the same. Uh, so let's go into the screen. I think the screen can be there still. Boom, boom. Yes. Okay, that connected. So let's get out of here. We need the same type of block. So I'm just gonna grab some uh, some random blocks for now. Okay, I got some basalt. Let's just put it down in a three by three. I think. That will be connected. Now, let's try. <gasps> yeah, baby! Oh, check that out! Wow! Wow, that's the best elevator mod ever! Thank you, RF Tools! Holy crap! Okay, let's... Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna call up Etho uh, and, and see what he says. Wow, though! Wow! Isn't that cool? That's like a real elevator. Yeah, and click the testing. Okay, okay that's pretty sweet. <laughs> no glitchiness at all, even. It's very smooth. Even like, even like my render of your little guy going up and down is is just superb. And you can ride it at once too, right? Oh yeah, let's try that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you bounce a little bit, but it, it's pretty smooth. You click it and I'll check the bouncing. Yeah, it's like a Ooh. hover a little bit. But kind yeah. of a hover, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so <laughs> what's up? All right, so I got a little thing for here, for you here. Ooh, uh, present uh -oh. times. Oh, I, have I claimed the chunks, maybe? I've claimed the freaking oh, chunks. Yeah. Hold on. There we go. Now you should be fine here. There we go. Okay. I'm going to force you to be my pen pal. Force me to be what? My pen pal. You're gonna send me letters and stuff. Ah, okay. <laughs> Have you ever seen this or used this? Before? Oh no! Oh, cool. No, no. This I've is like a really it. old thing, but people never use it, and it's actually a really cool thing. What is it from? All right, so grab yourself a mailbox and a trade station. It's from Forestry. Okay. Yeah. Got that. And have a stack of letters and stamps, I guess. <laughs> See, I haven't used this in like three or four years, so I'm, I'm not. Sure. Quite sure exactly. Um, so put those down. Mm -hmm. Anywhere. Do they need power or? Uh, I'm not sure. I, why would I? I don't end? think so. It doesn't look like it. Ah. Okay. okay. Name your train station. Sending ladders cost stamps. Need Basically, it's one N. Okay, I think I did that right. It says no trade set. The trade station requires items to send and receive. Okay, need supplies. The trade station requires supplies. Need stamps. Okay, I'll just install. Hmm. It says you don't have a mailbox. Did you spell it with a capital I? Oh, I think I actually need to put username in, maybe. Oh, yeah. It says from Escalator 5 on the thing. I see. 
Oh, that, that works. <gasps> I got it. I got it. <laughs> you got a message? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, how do how did you send it? So I, I wrote the letter mm -hmm. and put the items inside, the stamps. Then I just right-clicked on the mailbox with it. Yeah, okay. Let's and it seemed to happen pretty much instantly. Yeah, I'll use one as well. Okay, let's let shift right click. No, that reads it. I just opened the oh no, the mailbox. No, that's <laughs> the <great>. mailbox. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, did you get it? No. Oh yeah, it's in my mailbox here. Oh, From a scale to Etho. Sweet. Yeah, and I got a little thing that came up on my screen here too. And I got coffee. Thank you for your beautiful letter. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Etho, today the sunset was beautiful. I was enjoying a good sitting at the beach. The swapping wand. Ooh. Yeah, man. You gotta love that. <laughs> oh, it's like a uh, wand mm -hmm. of equal trade, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I do like the sound of that. It can't mine obsidian, though, unfortunately. But it can mine. It can do the rest. Oh. We can make this place look nice. No. <laughs> 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 nice wood. What is this wood? Is this pork? It's, it's the cherry wood. Ah, I thought that would be uh, would have been purple. Okay, so you you also get these letters to keep, right? I'm gonna make a collection room for these. So that trade should work for me. Wonder how I would access yours. Did so you get your setup right? Are you, okay, you got receive on on cobble. I I was gonna send you redstone. Try try changing out them factory blocks for this uh, for this redstone here. <laughs> We've just traded okay. in real life instead. <laughs> uh, so you're sending redstone, and you no, you have it the same. You have it the same as me. Okay, you do that, and I'll switch this mm -hmm. out. So I want, I will be sending cobblestone, and I want redstone. Okay, now there we go. Need oh, do you have a? Do you have any books? We need uh, two books, maybe. There's I like can, a catalog thing. I can make them. Just regular vanilla books. I'll give you a catalog. See if that does it. Ooh. So this apparently lists all the trades on the server. Oh yeah, there we oh, go. Oh okay. Oh. Yeah, nice. here we are. Oh, did I do it? I just clicked use. I used you, man. <laughs> I got some cobblestone. Did you? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you got it in the letter. Yeah. Okay, let me try break this and rename it Escalade 5 because I did name it differently. Maybe it needs to be the player name, you know? Because how else would right. it know that it's, uh, right. it's me? Uh, so I put some stamps and some paper. I don't understand the correlation. Why would we need stupid letters on top of this? Because um, the training station would just be me, right? That wouldn't be... I could still make orders from you is what I'm thinking. Oh no! Letter from Etho! Hold on! Yeah, man! It works! I'm stupid! Really? Yeah, I got a letter with 24 redstone. Please find your order attached. Let's try that again. You I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't get it still. Okay, so basically, first you go into your catalog. Okay. You then see you, what's available. Yeah, then you say use on Etho. Use. I'm using you, man. And so then. Confusing. Right clicking on, on a letter after that will automatically set the whole please send six. Oh, 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 I see. Now your name comes up. I got it. And then I need to. You need to attach stamps, right? Yep. So I put some stamps. Oh, dang it. I'm out of stamps. Oh, I got some here. Uh, attach a stamp and then put. So if I put. Can... Yeah. Hmm. Can you request more than one trade at a time? Yeah, I'm going to try that now. So if I request, uh, for, because it says, please send six redstone for every eight cobblestone attached. So I've put in four stacks of eight. So that should give me 24. No. Uh, yeah, 24. So now I'm going to mail it. Boom. Now you should have received your order. Okay. From Etho to Etho. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you make an order to yourself? Um, oh, I, I got a letter from you though. Did you? Yeah. I I one. Yeah, there we go. I got I got a letter. I got 24 redstone. Wait, is it completely automatical? Automatic. I'm so confused. 
Now check this out ladies and gentlemen, I've been tinkering with these displays for a few hours. Check out this, che check out this uh, text module, boom, text dashboard. I've, I've prepared this and then I got these. These are RF cards that we can use to, uh, to measure uh, or to see our power. Check that out, a dashboard. And then if you right click with the smart wrench, boom, you make it invisible. Or you make it a, a hologram thing. Check that out. So there's our power storage right there with a little bit of a, a reading indicator. I did the same thing for the for the elevator thing. Oh my goodness, these elevators are unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, I've also cleared up here a little bit and I've been uh, working on trying to come up with a design that I'm happy with. Check these out. I don't know if I like them, but these are made... Where is my teleportation wand? Crap. Where are you? There. These are made from chiseling bits. And we did that... I, I think we did that last episode. We we tried tried out some of these. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's, it's a little bit weird looking at them. But we'll see what I do. Um, however, now... This is going to be our workshop room and I want to put up some machines and stuff and I got a little bit of a design idea for how we can do that so I thought hey let's do it together because uh, I've been building a lot of stuff off camera. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that a good? Yeah let's put it there. Okay I want to build machine consoles um, and I want this area to be focused <coughs> on this spot right here. Like, this is where I'll stand and fart, if you know what I mean. Um, whilst I want the room to be open, I also want it to be having a little bit of, like, enclosements. Because if you do that to a big room, it always feels a, a, much, a much more a detailed. We can do something cool here. If we were to punch this away in the floor, we'll get a very cool line. Yeah, look at that. We'll get that cool line. Okay, I want to do that. Okay, yeah, I love that line. Did that all around and I also created uh, space for another module here. So we'll have another one of these. And these are the iron blocks, by the way. Have another one of these uh, come in there. Uh, in the middle, we'll have our power wire, which we'll always have visible. Um, I think I want to have some sort of background. Maybe I've been using just a pure basalt, like the super black basalt as a background. Uh, for everything else. So maybe we'll have that as a background. Like as oh. Aha, very nice, very nice. Um, <clears throat> and as I said, I think I said earlier, did I? Uh, it's been so long. It's just me being tinkering with the screens too much. Um, but as I think I said earlier, what? Why? Oh, hi, Torch. So I think I said earlier, I'm going to switch over to the universal cables. Uh, once they're easier to make. But for now, that will do. Maybe we'll put some glass uh, on top there. We could even use this glowing glass. This will give us a glowing effect. And I really... Wow! Yeah, that's the color tint that we need. Okay, beautiful. Anyway, back to the painter that I just started talking about. Jesus, can you crazy idiot. Um, where is it? There it is. I have... Uh, uh, oh, crap. <laughs> It's gonna be so good to have this room done, I'm telling you. Uh, I have been um, preparing a little bit uh, with the with the painter. This is going to be a very, 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 very important, should I say it again? Very important uh, machine in this mod pack because there aren't a whole lot of lightning uh, alternatives, but this painting machine from Android.io allows us to create our own glowstone blocks, basically. Um, so, power in here, and the plan is that we fill these slots with machines. If I get inside here, though, we'll have the power there. Maybe I'll just run this power to prepare for machines like a so for now. Okay, very good. Um, and that power source is hooked up to that vibrant capacitor. It's hooked up to the dashboard that I made that shows energy and usage and who everything at once. Okay, so let's install the painting machine. I'm going to put it right here. This was a little bit impractical. Boom. There. Uh, the idea is in this room all of the machines will be manual use. Actually, I'm going to use this quite a bit. Uh, and then we'll make like small factories that produce things like, right? These will be all manual. So I'll have you there. The painting machine, I'm going to install the uh, double capacitor. That'll make it a little bit quicker. Now, let's see if I remember how to work with this thing. If I put 
glowstone in there. I can paint any block with that glowstone thing. Yeah, baby. Okay, so this is now glowstone. If I put this wherever it's dark... Look! Look at that! Oh, so gorgeous. It consumes one glowstone when you do that. Uh, why did that go in there? Consumes, consumes one glowstone when you do that, but it doesn't consume the block that you paint. Now, I want to try something, and I may crash the server here doing this, but I want to see... If we were have if we would have created a custom block, let's say this thing that I created. Look at this. Yeah, just having fun the other day. Can I paint this? I may crash it now. <gasps> what? What's going on? Is it working? Is it working? Or is this just gonna be like an empty block? Oh, it's just an empty block. Okay. Fair enough. I I you know, I kind of uh Kind of didn't expect that to work. I believe we can also repaint these. So once you have painted blocks, you can go like that. And then let's say that I want... I don't know. Uh, ooh, actually, yeah. I know one block that I want to have as a light source in this room. Uh, let's say that we would want to install vents. So we use this vent block and put that there. Uh, the other way around, is it? Oh, maybe you can't repaint anymore. You used to be able to. Maybe it's because these blocks are bugged. Hold on, let's uh, grab this thing. No, you can't repaint anymore. Okay. Wait. <laughs> I'm freaking doing this wrong. Oh yeah, you can repaint, but not with this because it's uh, bugged out. Okay, cool. Anyway, now this block here will act as a light source. So if I were to install it here, it will look at the, as a vent, but it's actually a glowstone. How cool isn't that, ladies and gentlemen? Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, with the painter you can also paint facades. I should show you this. So if I, I, I've crafted up conduit facades, I put that in there, and then let's say that I want basalt for this thing that I'm doing. I can do that, okay. Okay, grab them. And this here, for example, I want this cable to just vanish. I'll put one of them there, boom. Look at that, the cable is now running into the block. A beautiful... Getting progress, ladies and gentlemen. I have a clock. How cool isn't that? I am very... I'm starting to get very, very happy with this. I decided to skip the whole um, catwalk going around the thing and just have it up there. And uh, I ran out of... Uh, <laughs> ran out of them fence things there. <clears throat> but I think I'm going to change from them fences anyway. They look pretty... Uh, not very good. But uh, I think this looks super cool. I'm, uh, I'm starting to see my block palette as well. Very silver, and for those of you who's like, where's the scallion? Well, it's coming, okay? This is kind of the looked after area, and then as we as we start with the, with the production area, which is going to be down in the basement here, that's where the scallion uh, comes uh, pouring through things. Now here, th this looks a little bit bad, or very bad, um, and this is something that I want to change. I want to move the... Um, the iron farm and, and put that downstairs, etc, etc. And then we have this whole wall that we can that we can use for things. Anyway, check this out. I made two new machines. This is a basic crushing factory, which basically takes... Uh, let's put some... Actually, let's get some sandstone. I'm out of food all the time. That's why I needed to show you this now. It can do this. Boom. Ah, triple crushing. And I've installed eight speed upgrades in this guy. Uh, there and I've installed eight energy upgrades and actually two muffling upgrades uh, Two energy upgrades and that will make it so that it still uses a crap ton of power 600 RF per tick We can see on the screen. Oh, we're still producing more than we use if I start this machine as well This is a smelting version of the same thing uh, Let's just put this back so we can see the energy Yeah, now we start losing out well not really. We're producing more than both of these are using. That's cool. But check that out. That's so cool. Flour you get from um, from sag milling uh, wheat, by the way. Uh, and it's a good good food source, although we, we still need to do better foods than this. Then I believe this is how it was in survival stories. I believe it's the same here. If we take bread and recook that, yeah, that gives us toast. All right. And if we take the toast and recook it, now I'm probably not going to use this as a food source, but just want to check now. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Um, but we'll put some bread in there, I guess. <laughs> guess I'll be living on bread for a little bit or toast. Stupid toast. 
Ooh, it's actually really, really good though. Okay. Anyway, I started the ceiling here. We need to do some pipes. I need pipes. The the uh, the most beautiful pipe in Minecraft, modded Minecraft, is the, in my opinion, the immersive engineering pipe, um, fluid pipe. I love how that looks. Now we don't have immersive engineering in this pack yet, so I'm gonna try and replicate how they look. Okay, I've been tinkering with this for a little bit. It's so time consuming, um, but hopefully we got something cool. I got a few different uh, pieces. Let's see what we can do, all right? I'm gonna start with the gray block because that's what I use. This is from the flat colored block mod thingamajing, which is amazing. And, aha, uh -huh. pretty, pretty cool. Pretty close to, to the, um, Immersive engineering without being any graphic super artist of doom. Um, let's try this one. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait. Have I have I made boo boos here? Hold on. Oh, I got two prints that are the same. Okay. Next, let's try this one. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't really connect fantastically there. Oh, am I? I'm out of something already. Uh, <laughs> crap. What's that? That's the. Um, See, this is going to be the challenge, to not run out of anything. Um, but yeah, you can see the carves in it. It's uh, run out of something. And there we have it. Wow. Oh boy. I think I did a great... <laughs> I think I did a great job. Uh, no, but, but they look good. I may add a little bit more escalium. I think instead of uh, <clears throat> making them pre-made... The easier way to add it is just go up and chip chip at it. I did that over here, kind of like a little leakage situation. I also changed uh, some of these so that it's like a border where it connects to the wall. I'm still not sure about the walls in this room, about this grey color. You guys will have to let me know what you think because uh, it feels a little bit um, grey still. I, I read some comments just now from the last video and... Uh, uh, a lot of good suggestions, so thank you guys so much, but <laughs> people are saying like, dude, it's a factory. It ain't supposed to be pretty, you crazy fool. Well, we'll make it as pretty as we can. And look at that dashboard, it's so gorgeous. Anyway, um, I was planning on doing some, some other stuff today, but I think I'm gonna do a back-to-back, -back, so you'll have another episode tomorrow. Uh, as well, because I, I got some plans and we're out of video time. I haven't even checked the edit, but I'm sure I have like two hours of just me talking. But we've got a letter from Ito, so we gotta check that out. He sent us something. Today I discovered my greatest talent. I am the server's number one artist. I entrust my first masterpiece to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, what is that? A pile of poop? That's, uh, <clears throat> all right. Etho the artist. Well, I'm glad that Etho started to uh, play with chisel and bits, or I don't know if I'm glad or if I'm sad because it's gonna, it's gonna take up all his time. <laughs> but, uh, well, I won't call it a masterpiece, but I'm going to put it somewhere special right over here. Uh, huh. huh. No, huh. there we go. Perfect. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for uh, watching and uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed. Hit the like button for more Hermitcraft, Hermit Pack videos. As I said, there will probably be a back to back. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.